What are the five most common jobs in the mechanical aptitude for the Air Force? Well, in today's video, I'm going to dive into just that. I determined this list based off of the total manning in these career fields. So if you disagree and think there should be something else on this list, be sure to comment it down below. Or if you were surprised by anything, let me know in the comment section. But if you're new here, my name is Kyle Gott. I'm a six year Air Force veteran who did aircraft structural maintenance, and I'm also the founder of Airman Vision. Here at Airman Vision, we've created a streamlined solution for modern day Air Force recruiting, where we're bridging the gap between future recruits in the Air Force. So if you're not yet subscribed, consider joining us and also liking this video to help others find it. Now we're gonna start off at the fifth most common mechanical aptitude job and work our way up to the number one. Coming in at number five is refuel slash bomber aircraft maintenance. These are known as crew chiefs. A crew chief is the best mechanic. To me, that's what it's all about. And getting your name on the door of that airplane, it's prestigious. It comes with honor. Coming in at number four is tactical aircraft maintenance, also known as crew chiefs. You know, we're inspecting the airplane before it goes to fly, and we're inspecting it when it comes back from flight. If we find anything wrong, then we request the specific specialist to come out and deal with that. Coming in at number three is aircraft armament systems. I think weapons itself, it feels like two different jobs because I've worked flight line and I've worked back shop and they're both like you learn completely different aspects of it. Coming in at number two is munitions systems. What munitions does, uh, we call ourselves ammo. Uh, we deal with pretty much anything that has an explosive quality to it. And coming in at number one is airlift slash special mission aircraft maintenance. These are also known as crew chiefs. The responsibilities of a crew chief is basically taking care of the aircraft from nose to tail, wingtip to wingtip. We're responsible for everything that goes on with that aircraft, whether it's servicing, lubricating, testing, inspecting, troubleshooting. So what do you guys think? Were you surprised by anything on this list? Did we leave anything out? Should have this list been a little bit different? And if you have any questions, feel free to comment them down in the comment section down below. We'll do our best to answer you or at least point you in the right direction. As always, my name is Kyle Gott. This is Airman Vision, where we're bridging the gap between future recruits and the Air Force, and we look forward to helping you in another video.